Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a memory plan with me and also my, I guess, Black Lives Matter um, planner challenge. Although I, I didn't follow the rules of the challenge and the reason being is because I had already planned on doing a spread in my memory planner um, paying tribute to victims and I had already kind of had this vision in my head of what I wanted the spread to be before the challenge came about um, so that's why it's not following the rules so to speak um, but nonetheless I hope you guys enjoy this video and I've enjoyed seeing everyone else's um, spreads and everything I think they're great and I think it's great that this challenge came about um, to give everybody a chance to kind of educate themselves and realize the issues that we as a nation have whether white or black I mean you can't you can't deny that there's an issue you know and um, I'm gonna try <laughs> not to get too I don't know um, I don't know what the right word is I'm just gonna try to be chill <laughs> and mellow um, but this is definitely something that makes me angry and you know I'm past the point of sad I mean yes it's sad these people lost their lives but I'm angry you know because this this has happened too many times and since me doing this spread and I'm paying tribute to Ahmad and Brianna and George but since these three there have been countless others you know and that's something that doesn't sit well with me and that's why something needs to change um, God I feel myself getting emotional already <laughs> um, but anyway I I've talked a little bit about um, kind of what my experience just being a uh, mixed race or biracial um, I tend to refer to myself as biracial but um, you know some people say mixed race but anyway I my dad is black my mom is white and sometimes I feel like I don't have a right to feel as passionately about these issues as I do I mean yeah I there's black in me. Some may even consider me black. I don't know what I consider myself. <laughs> I just, I tell people I'm biracial all the time. I mean, I'm black, I'm white, okay. Um, but I don't, I don't look black. You know, people are always shocked when I say that I am biracial. My dad is black. They always assume I'm Hispanic. Um, they even sometimes talk to me in Spanish, just assuming I know what they're talking about, but no clue sis I have no idea um but well with that being said I feel like I don't have a right to feel as passionately about this I feel like I shouldn't take it as personal as I do because you know I'm I'm black with some white privilege you know what I mean um I have had instances where I've been followed in stores. Uh, I've had to be mindful of, you know, where I put my hands. Like, I have, I've made the conscious effort in the past to make sure my hands can be seen at all times when I walk into certain stores. Um, just because they, they look at you, you know? They, they assume the worst about you just by your looks. And by your looks, I mean your skin tone. And people who don't experience that don't realize that's a thing. And I think when this 
all happened. I mean, the Black Lives Matter movement isn't isn't a trend and for a lot of people this is this is life you know this is every day but for those people who don't live it every day they don't realize it so people who aren't as blind to it shouldn't ridicule the ones that are all of a sudden voicing their opinion um they're acknowledging something's wrong and they might share some things they're willing to listen and it, i don't think it's our place to ridicule those people i mean if they're doing it for the right reasons if they're being 100 percent genuine willing to listen and make an effort towards change that's one thing if they're just doing it for you know likes and just because it's trendy that's something else but i don't think it's up for us to ridicule those people who are all of a sudden quote unquote woke, you know what I mean? Because if you don't live it every day, you don't realize it happens. You know, you don't, you're not faced with that reality, therefore you don't tend to think about it. I mean, which isn't anyone's fault, that's just, <laughs> that's just how it is. So, um, I definitely appreciate people who are willing to speak up for um, their concerns and willingness to listen and learn. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And that's what we need, you know? That's what's gonna lead to change is people willing to let go of what they thought they knew and be willing to accept new truths you know i was talking to my mom um the other day about abe lincoln <laughs> through all this and she puts him on such a high pedestal and i mean yeah lincoln thought slavery was unjust and that it wasn't right that's great and he did something he took steps towards ending slavery which is great but at the same time and I don't even think this is really taught in school he didn't care for people of color he he didn't think that they would mix well <laughs> with the white people he thought it would be detrimental to the country and whenever I mentioned that to her she just kind of blew it off she's like well that doesn't matter blah 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 I'm like well it kind of does <laughs> You know, and I think that's what's gonna set us back as a nation, people being unwilling to accept new truths. You know, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain and it's hard for me to really talk about this kind of stuff, but at the same time, we need to talk about it with our loved ones, our friends, you know, be willing to <laughs> make people mad you know I mean people need to listen and people need to hear so anyway it's just it's so much more than slavery it's I mean even after slavery we we were separated from the majority for so long and I remember Emmett Till is like one of the stories that haunts me to this day. Like it, it makes me so nauseous even now just to think about that poor little boy um, who was beaten and lynched uh, in Mississippi back in the 50s. And for harassing a white woman so so she says I think it's come out that she was lying even um, about what he actually did um, and it's just heartbreaking he was 14 years old for whistling at a white woman he was beaten to death to a point that he was unrecognizable to his mother and lynched and guess what nobody paid time for that nobody he he didn't get his justice 
and this was this was only 60 65 years ago you know it's it hits so much closer to home than people think you know slavery was so long ago why are you still why are you still holding a grudge why are you mad about you know what your ancestors went through these are not ancestors this <laughs> this is somebody's grandma grandpa back in the day you know this is happening now today in 2020 injustice is still happening it's not about slavery and if you think it is about slavery you need to get educated because it is far beyond that far beyond that I don't know if our nation or our world in general will ever reach a place of true equality and I'm gonna have to end this soon because I'm gonna start crying and I'm not about that right now but I hope that everyone who is as passionate about these issues now continue to be as passionate in the future are as passionate about this when it comes time to teach your kids because the future is our children we need to properly educate kindness and equality to our children so they can carry it on and on and on I'm, I'm crying <laughs> I just hope, number one, justice is served for these three individuals in this spread and for the countless others. Change needs to happen, you guys. I'm not sure <laughs> if I can continue on um, with a voiceover, so I might just throw some music over. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about any kind of stickers or anything like that, you can drop me a comment down below and I will get back with you on that. And yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm going to leave it at that. So I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you would like. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.